Howdy folks, Pen Gangster here, and I'm here to show you some new Estabrook pens today that are not Estes. I could show you every Esty that I get, but it's basically the same pen with a different resin, and they're all gorgeous. I'll just show you the same aspects of the Esty. I've got a set of pens that are much different, and they're very attractive, and they are the Estabrook, here they are, Model J pens. They're very attractive. When I first saw these in person, I was like, ooh, la la. My eye was drawn to this one. This is the Antique Rose. I love this pattern. By the way, it's Ebonite if you couldn't tell already. So, Antique Rose, and check out that patterning in the material. I love that. And this one is. Lotus green, kind of like a Granny Smith apple green with some beige mixed in it, like a caramel apple. Oh my gosh, I want a caramel apple. Doesn't that sound really? I mean, fall, it's fall now, right? Just began. Caramel apple, yummy. Mmm. <laughs> it's, it's kind of close to lunchtime as I'm recording this right now, so my mind is shifting over to food. This is an homage to the classic 1950s Estabrook J pen. And I'm just going to show you one for right now. So the Model J uh, is very attractive. The finial has that Estabrook Infinity symbol. Nothing there. It's just smooth. On the barrel, I don't know if I can get a good look at this. Where is it? There it is right there. It has R. Esterbrook etched into the barrel. Stands for Robert Esterbrook. He liked to be called Bob on occasion by his closest friends. Both pens have that, as a matter of fact. So there's the finial. There's a band around. It's, this is actually around on the barrel itself. It's a nice hammered, textured look to it. It's gold plated. The clip. Is nice. It's a nice reference to that 1950s pen. In fact, I have a pen that we can compare that with. And this is a vintage Estabrook. There is a, a direct reference to the clip on these pens. And I love that they did that. I love that they took an element from a pen from the 1950s and they placed it on a modern interpretation of this pen. I think that's a really nice touch. So the shapes, I mean, if you look at these pens side by side, you can tell they're related. They're family. Yeah. So this is like the great, great grandma to this pen. Isn't that adorable? I love that they did that, but I really like this modern touch of the hammered part on this pen. So I think it's really cool. At the night grip section, it matches the rest of the pen. I love that. And it's not some generic metal section. I hate that. <laughs> Seems like a lot of companies do that. They just put this generic metal section and just put a new barrel on it with a different resin. No, this is more specific to the pen. And it's nice because it balances out that entire look to me. Or for me, you know. It has a stainless steel nib on it. This one has a medium nib on it. Let's go ahead and take the cap off of the Lotus Green. Should have been called like Granny Smith Green. And this one has a broad nib on it. They both have plastic sections. As you could tell by the section, these are both Yovo nibs. And I like the way the grip section is shaped. So it has, you know, kind of like a little lip right here so your finger doesn't slide down to the nib. Uh, that would be unfortunate, especially if, you know, there's like ink everywhere and you didn't wipe that ink off properly after you inked your pen. You should try that. This is a cartridge converter pen. So I don't currently have these inked right now. I did, and I've already used them, but they were cleaned recently. Um, and I just, I just haven't inked them back up yet, but I will. I will. I just want to figure out the right, I need like the right ink, the right colors to go with this. And I need something that's, you know, to me that just screams antique rose, you know, not just like brown. Does the pen post? Yes, it does. 
There we go. Post it. So it's very comfortable. It's a very comfortable pen. Again, I don't I don't normally post my pens, but if I did, this would actually feel very nice. It doesn't feel too heavy, doesn't feel unbalanced. It actually feels very nice in hand. So if you prefer to post your pen and you prefer the pen to be a little bit bigger, this there you go. This will do that. I prefer it to not be posted. I think it feels a lot better like this to me. I prefer lighter pens. So that's just my preference. Lotus Green posted. So you can get a look at that as well. Very nice. Beautiful pens. You know what would be really cool is if they did this pen like in a red, a red ebonite. Oh my gosh. Oh, that would be so classy. There it is without the cap. Yeah, it would be really classy or black. Ooh, yeah. Well, the next thing we're going to take a look at is the unboxing and inking of these pens along with a writing sample. All right, let's roll that footage. Yeah, that box, what'd you think? There it is. Brian Holzer and I co-designed this lovely box. Well, just the outer sleeve, obviously. But yeah, we went back and forth on this and I think it turned out really cool. It, it pays homage to the old Esterbrook, a classic Esterbrook that was located in Camden, New Jersey, which is what this image in the background is. And it has, you know, the little infinity, and this mimics the etching that's on the barrel to R. Estabrook or Bob, if you're his friend. America's Reborn. So I think it turned out kind of cool. I like it. So I'm keeping this for my portfolio, my design portfolio. Lots of fun to, to design stuff. The pens, they wrote nice. So, I mean, it's, it's Yovo Nibs. Yovo Nibs actually do very well. They perform well. I appreciate that. I love them. I do. I want more colors of this. I want more Ebonite Model J pens. Purple, red, black, orange, orange. I mean, what other colors are there? Oh, that's all I can think of right now. I just want red. I want the red version of this. Oh, it looks so cool. I want to show you also these pens uh, next to the JR so you can get a good idea of the size difference. So the Model J is a bigger pen. So here it is next to the JR. So JR is a pocket pen. Model J is a full size pen. Again, you could tell that these pens are related. They're family. Mm -hmm. Don't judge me. 
Now you have a, a size reference to them. I think these are very lovely pens. I really like the way they turned out. I like the idea behind them. I like the inspiration behind these pens. Let's talk about the price. So these pens retail for $295 each. And you could find them at estrabrookpens.com. You could also find them at your favorite retailers such as Apple Boom, uh, Pen Chalet, Gold Spot. Drongles has them, Atlas Stationers has them. If you get it with Estherbrook though, you can probably get one of those nice uh, specialty nibs um, installed in it, like the, the Techo nib or the Journaler nib or the Scribe nib or Needlepoint, whichever, or any size you want. So that's a cool thing about going through estherbrookpens.com. Uh, I'll leave that decision up to you. Again, yes, I love these pens, $2.95. You know, it's an ebonite pen. Uh, I think it's classy. I think it's I think it's not a bad price for them, especially if you compare it to you know some other pens out there. I don't I don't think it's horrible. All right. <laughs> that being said, well, that's really all I have to to say about these pens. I hope you learned a little more about the Esbrook Model J pens. Uh, be sure to check them out. And that's how the ink flows. Flows. Keep flowing. Okay, that's it. That's all I have. Ta-ta.